As National Geographic reports, though Hollywood Theatrix seemed to have grossly inflated these majestic creatures' fearsome reputation. At up to 20 feet long and perhaps weighing 2.5 tons, great white sharks are undoubtedly mighty predators. But they rarely show much interest in hunting humans. In fact, they and their fellow sharks are less deadly than vending machines. On average, the number of fatalities due to shark bites worldwide ranges between 4 and 6 per year. The yearly risk in the US of dying from a shark bite is roughly 1 in 250 million. In contrast, the yearly risk of dying from a vending machine accident is roughly 1 in 112 million. Vending machines are roughly twice as deadly as sharks. How many people do you think would buy tickets to see Attack of the 50-Foot Vending Machine? So why does this fear of sharks pervade our collective nightmares? We fear sharks because we don't know them or understand them. We haven't had positive experiences with sharks and only know the way the media and popular culture have portrayed them as evil killing machines. This mentality is to blame in part for the ever-increasing slaughter of sharks worldwide, bringing some species to the brink of extinction. Your chances of even seeing a shark, much less getting bitten by one, are so slim that to encounter one in the wild is to be incredibly lucky. Exploring deaths by vending machines. Maybe this statistic arises because vending machines usually have unhealthy options, and somehow this was leading to disease and then deaths. A US-wide survey of 1420 vending machines in 251 schools found that 75% of the drinks and 85% of the snacks found in their vending machines are of poor nutritional value. So unhealthy eating habits may cause short-term and long-term ailments, which is why the number is so high. But linking anything back to a vending machine is almost impossible. There's no way one can reliably trace a death by diabetes back to a single pack of M and M's you bought after you asked your crush out in high school. Another possible explanation for deaths by vending machines could be an immediate reaction to consuming an item. For example, choking or allergic reactions could prove fatal if immediate help is not received. But in either case, the reason for death then becomes choking or allergy rather than vending machine. Maybe it's because of electrical shocks caused by faulty electronics or loose wiring in the vending machine. Turns out that vending machines are pretty energy efficient and don't require much voltage. They can be plugged into regular 120 volt outlets. That means that most shocks should be survivable. But it turns out that none of these reasons is the major cause of vending machine deaths. Almost every source that claims that vending machines kill four times as many people per year as sharks point to one specific report by the US Consumer Product Safety Commission. This report released in 1995 says that the CPSC is aware of at least 37 deaths and 113 injuries in the US since 1978 that have resulted from consumers rocking or tilting the machines in an attempt to obtain free soda or money. That comes out to be around 2.18 deaths per year. Exploring deaths by sharks. Unlike the causes of vending machine deaths, this one seems intuitive. People go for a dip in the ocean, a shark says hello, and the count is incremented by one. The oldest shark fossil found dates to around 450 million years ago. In comparison, the oldest fossils relating to the Homo genus date to only 2 million years ago, and the oldest Homo sapiens fossils found are just 315,000 years old. While the Homo genus has just one species remaining, over 500 different shark species are remaining. However, most don't even come in contact with humans in their lifetime. The three shark species responsible for the most attacks on humans are the great white, tiger, and bull. According to ISAF, surfers and those participating in board sports accounted for most unprovoked shark-related attacks. The number of deaths by vending machines in the US came to around 2.18 per year. In 1995, there were two deaths by vending machines. In that same year, there were zero deaths by sharks. In fact, take a look at the shark-related deaths in the US for the last 10 years. The average comes out to be just 0.6 deaths per year. There were tilled 2.18 vending machine deaths per year before 1995. Of course, it has gone up since then. More recent statistics by the National Electronic Injury Surveillance System said that between 2002 and 2015, vending machines caused an average of four US deaths per year. The UK, US, and China have a lot of vending machines, but it isn't as common in India or Nigeria. It would be interesting to know how the number of deaths slash injuries would be when averaged over the entire world. And that's all for today. Give a thumbs up to the video if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates.